from Priscilla PMB5005 and from a gentleman on Google Plus who wished to remain anonymous. Um, and I've thought about it actually myself for a long time too, to talk about what I do um, when it comes to concealer, especially when it comes to the eye area. Um, as you get older, you know, your eye area gets very um, frail, I think is a good way to put it. You're more prone to real dryness around the eye area. You get more bags um, and um, the bags can lead to more circles and, and whatnot. So there are two ways to deal with this and you really need to do both as you get older. Um, and one of the ways is um, a, a topic for my next eye video, which will either come out at the end of this week or early next week, depending on when my giveaway is, which depends on when my stuff arrives. So, but it is coming up very soon. And that's to do with um, your skincare, especially around your eye area and how you sort of deal with taking care of yourself around the eye area and the skin around your eye area. And that gets really important, especially as you get older. Um, but the other thing that you can do is, of course, to camouflage <laughs> what's happening around your eyes. And that's really what makeup is in general. You know, it's camouflage and um, a smoke and mirrors, really, to make yourself look prettier. I mean, and to make yourself look better. So, um, coming up in this video, you will see me with just foundation on showing you what I have started doing um, around my eye area and what I do. Um, but I want to just first to sort of talk about you know how I've come around to this video. I never used to use concealer at all because when I use concealer I inevitably feel like I get baggier or that like the areas around my eyes are accentuated and I feel like it looks worse um, except of course if a professional makeup artist does it on me so uh, so I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and done a lot of um, trial and error and what I find really really frustrating in the YouTube videos a lot of them is that the women <laughs> the girls who show you how to use concealer really don't have anything to conceal. <laughs> so, um, I've tried to watch a lot of older women and I've tried a lot of stuff myself and you know, just this is what I'm doing now. It might change, but this is what I'm finding works for me now after some trial and error. So I'm just going to show you what sort of products um, there are. First of all, um, there's the actual concealer. And Goss Makeup Artist was the first one who told me, well he didn't tell me, he told the world, he told YouTube, that, um, that Bobbi Brown's corrector is what you really want to be using for under eye circles. So I'm going to talk about and use Bobbi Brown's corrector because what you want to be doing from what I understand is to, in order to conceal darkness or dark blue based circles, is use a pink based um, concealer slash corrector. Um, and then um, the other thing that you can do is you can use skin highlighters to highlight other areas of your face so that people don't notice the dark circles as much. And that's a hard one to get around because you still see them and you still notice them, but you have to I actually really recommend filming yourself because you see yourself in a way that other people do. You, you get to sort of see how other people see you. You're not looking at yourself static in a mirror. And one of the things that you'll notice if you try using um, correcting and highlighting products is that if you highlight certain areas of your face and things that you like about your face, then the dark circles and crappy skin around your eye is not as noticeable. Um, so there's a few products that I've used to sort of help with that. I've used um, Laura Mercier's Illuminator. It's a spectacular highlighter. I use it with um, the, I'm showing you now the stuff I don't use 
when I'm doing my demonstration next. Um, the precision angled Sigma brush in P84 for that, and I would use it on my cheekbones, same place that you're going to see me use the skin flash in a minute, and around um, my brow bone and cheekbones, and maybe a little bit here. Um, there are tons of these out there. This is a particularly gorgeous one. Um, it's impossible to get a hold of now. Grela, Gela has a more pink based one out at the moment. Beautiful. Um, Rachel from Making Never Sleeps has a great video of it. Um, uh, there's also, um, for corrector, there's the, it's actually, I use it as a corrector. I use it the same way I use the Bobby Brown corrector. The Eclat Lumiere from Chanel. This is in number three, beige rose. It's one of these um, sort of brush tipped things. I use it the same way I'm going to be showing you how to use the Bobbi Brown. Um, this Dior Skin Flash is more like an actual highlighter that I use the same way I use the Laura Mercier and I'm going to be using it here. And there are lots of concealers out there. Like this just arrived in my birch box. This is, let's see, Miracle Skin Transformer, which is supposed to be a conceal conce concealer that actually hydrates as well. So I just thought I'd, you know, throw that out there as, as an option too. So um, I'm going to try that in another day. So yeah, so um, in the next bit, you'll see me apply my corrector and a little bit of concealer. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, so what I have on right now is um, my foundation with a primer and of course my eye moisturizing cream which I'll talk about in the next eye video and um, so I'll show you what my issues are I have some darkness right in here as you can see when I'm not wearing anything darkness in here I have these circles here which I always feel are really visible but they're not I think they're more caused by bagginess than by circles okay so what I've already put on right before my foundation is this. It's the Garnier Skin Renew um, Anti-Dark Circle Roller. And it looks like this. It's a little roller. I use it before I use my foundation. It's a little roller and it has caffeine in it, which I'll talk about in my eye skincare video. Okay, um, and then the next thing I do is, this isn't really to do with concealers and stuff, but um, I use the anti Coraz, which is a Greek company, Coraz, 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 Coraz. Um, it's the anti-aging eye primer. I don't know if it does anything, but I figure, you know, that it really sort of can't hurt. Move that screaming into it when I do my makeup here. Okay, so I just use a little bit of that on here because as I talk about before and in my eye care, eye skin care video, um, really the best way to avoid dark circles and stuff is by taking care of the skin around your eyes, taking care of your hydration and all that sort of lifestyle stuff. Um, okay, but then what I do is I use this astonishing brush that was part of the brush kit. Um, it's a Sig Sigma Precision brush kit. Um, these are a few of them that come in the um, set that, this is the P86. Um, that my lovely, 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 adorable, wonderful Alachia got me for Christmas. And then I use the Bobbi Brown Light Bisque um, Corrector. So it's pink based and um, to counteract dark circles, which are blue, you know, or bluish, um, you want to use something pink based. So I put that, because of this darkness in here, I put that in here with this amazing pointed precision brush. It just blends, it's perfect. It is so perfect 
for getting into this area in my eye. Now, normally I would do both eyes sort of areas, like right now, I'd, once I'd finish that corner, I'd go do the other area. But I want to sort of show you what it looks like compared to the other eye. It just really brightens up that area in there. And so what I'm trying to do, like I said, is sort of draw attention away from the bad areas instead of um, highlighting, instead of them still being there. And I think the best way to do that is to try to correct the darkness by brightening them and partly concealing them. I don't know. I think it. I think this eye looks better now than the other eye. Of course, my eyes are different sh shapes. So, and then I don't actually cover the dark circles that much, really, under my eye because. I feel like if I go over here where my bag hangs a bit more, if I try to correct that area with corrector, I find that it really highlights that bag more. So I go sort of to halfway under my eye to correct it. Um, if anyone else has any brilliant ideas for concealing that bag, and doing something about that circle without highlighting that bag, I would be more than thrilled to know. But this is what, after a lot of trial and error, <laughs> and trying quite a lot of different concealers, this is what I kind of find works for me. So that's what that eye looks like now. Now I'll do the other eye. getting in there in that dark circle there and then to about halfway under my eye on the blue areas because I'm using the pink base concealer corrector um, which is for counteracting blue circles not for you know redness you don't want to use that for redness you use a completely different concealer um, for redness and I'm not really including um, you know, I haven't sort of mentioned that I'm including sort of redness around the nose area in this video, but for redness you use um, a yellow based concealer. And so I've got the Bobbi Brown um, Cool Sand concealer, and it comes with a yellow setting powder. So that's, you can see that's a yellow based concealer and yellow powder. And so that's what I use for um, the redness, for example, around my nose, and now I'm using the flat top for some reason, which I don't normally do, um, just around my nose. I use the flat top for the setting powder, the yellow setting powder, that's what I normally use it for. And then the yellow around the nose. And hopefully what this does is it doesn't cover my dark circles completely. When I look at videos of myself, I constantly see the dark circles around, especially around the outer side of my eye. If I turn around in videos and stuff, I still always see that bag. And I feel like that circle is really heavy. But what it does do is it does, I think it improves it, it brightens my eye. And I think if you look at me normally when I'm talking, it's not like the first thing you see. It's a good way of camouflaging it, so to speak. And the other thing that I do do to help with that camouflage, and today I'm going to use the Dior um, Skin Flash in 002, um, just on my cheekbone, to highlight my cheekbone instead of that dark circle. And you can use, like I said in earlier, any um, highlighter, really. Actually, I haven't said it yet. I'm going to go do my makeup, and then I'm going to um, 
<laughs> and then I'm going to go and say it, so I better remember to say it now. So I think that sort of highlights my cheekbone instead of the dark circles. And um, yeah, hopefully that helps. So um, I'll be back in full makeup before and after this to show you. Okay. So I really hope that was at least a little bit helpful. Um, I will list all the products I use below. Um, of course, getting color matched for the you know perfect um, corrector to color for you is important. Um, and uh, brand wise, I don't know. I've only tried the Bobbi Brown. I'm I'm keen to try the Mac. I hear a lot of good, a lot of good stuff about the Mac. I'm happy to hear suggestions below. Um, I also would love to hear your experience. I don't know how helpful this was. I'm not, you know, a professional makeup artist, but I do know what works for my eye and or what I think works for my eye. And then um, look out for my video coming up in a few days, um, seven to ten days, I think, five to ten maybe, um, on how I treat the skin around my eyes. Okay, um, thanks for watching and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.